it is now time to learn about spheres. Now, a sphere is no different from what we commonly know as a ball. How doth one find the surface area of a ball? All right, guys, here we have before us a sphere. Good. Now, if you want to know the area of the outer layer of this sphere, or shall I say the surface area, how do we go about doing this? Well, we've got ourselves a formula that does this very thing for us. It goes a little something like this. Surface area of a sphere equals 4 times pi times r squared. Good. So, let's try an example together. Here's a sphere. And, as you can see, the radius of the circle within the sphere is 3 centimeters. And, since it's a perfect sphere, you can take any circle as long as it crosses through the middle of the sphere itself. And, rest assured, you would have 3 centimeters as your radius. And now we have our formula here. That's all you have to know. Because remember, pi is a number. It's a constant, not a variable it always equals exactly one number. So if we plug in our radius of 3 into our formula, we get 4 times pi times 3 squared, which when we calculate is equal to roughly 113.1 centimeters squared. Easy. Let's try one last question to end off this super easy lesson. What if I gave you the surface area of a sphere and told you that it was 105 centimeters squared? Would you then be able to find the radius just with that information alone? Mm -hmm. Well, let's start bringing out the formula here. Since we already know the surface area, we can plug it into our formula to get 105 equals 4 pi r squared. Let's divide both sides by 4 pi to get 105 divided by 4 pi equals r squared. We can rearrange the two sides and then square root both sides if we simplify, we get a final result of r equals roughly 2.89 centimeters. Good, so that's the end of this one, guys. All you have to do is remember that one formula and you should be good. So, we encourage you to try some more questions and we will see you in our next lesson.